cold, rainy, dreary day. Everywhere you go, there's mud. So what do you do on these days? Well, you get to work on the golf cart again. Yep. It's about 35, 36 degrees out here. Raining. Only mud to play in. And can't really get this thing muddy. I did. I got in trouble. It's okay. But anyway, we're going to put backup lights on it today. So, y'all stay tuned and we'll show you how to correctly wire up lights. And this would go for headlights, tail lights, but we're going to be doing backup lights. That way you flip it over reverse, they will come on automatically whenever in reverse. I'll show you how to do that. And we're going to mount them next to the trailer hitch, so whenever you're hooking up a trailer at night, no problem. Just set your parking brake put it in reverse and your lights will be on okay guys here's what I've ordered go on the back is backup lights I could have put those lights that I put on for headlights but I like these being there's a little bit slimmer line those but I'm just worried about ground clearance and you know backing and running into something but come in a pack of two comes with your hardwire I've put the hardwire on this one and uh, the whole back is a heat sink, so that's nice. But yeah, they look good. Seem to be good and bright, well packaged. But as you can see here on the trailer hitch, I've got these bolt, these longer bolts, and I'm gonna mount them right there on them bolts. All right, there they are installed. It was pretty easy, just bolt-on installation. I didn't record none of that, but just turn some wrenches and put them on. Very simple installation. But now, we're going to do the wiring. And that's where the magic happens. Okay, guys. These LED lights have a red wire and a black wire. And... If you watch the previous videos, you'll see that if I wire it like the other people wired this stuff that's on the front end, I got to run one of these, a wire from the positive here to the positive battery, and then here to the, to the negative side of the battery. You don't have to do that. We're not going to do that here. We're going to save us some wire and not run two wires all the way to the battery. So what we're going to do is we're going to take my multimeter here, and I'm going to find continuity. What I'd like to do is be able to ground, put the black wire to this bolt, which would should be a ground, but I'm gonna make sure. So what we do, we set our multimeter to con uh, continuity, continuity setting. And then we're gonna to try to find a, a ground up here, right there. That right there tells me that that bolt is a ground. So, this black wire and this black wire will go to that bolt and this bolt. And we'll put eyelets on there. I don't know. Yeah, we'll have to strip some more off there. But we'll put an eyelet on there and we'll take that bolt down and hook it at that bolt. That way you don't have to run no ground wire all the way to the battery. Save yourself some wire, because wire is expensive. So that's what we're going to do. So let's make that connection next and we'll go from there. Okay, now we are going to find which side of this has positive power whenever you shift it into reverse. And this is a micro switch that turns on your little buzzer. So whenever your shifter comes over and hits that, it completes power and turns on your buzzer. So you can look and see that this red wire runs to the middle. So this is hot wire, hot power coming in all the time. And then this only has power whenever the switch is engaged. So when you shift it into reverse, there you have power running through this circuit here and it runs the buzzer. So what we'll do is I'll take my voltmeter and make sure that this is power here when 
the switch is engaged. That way we'll have lights on whenever we put it in reverse. So we'll take our voltmeter here. We'll go to 20 volts DC. Find your suitable ground. And right there, let me get that in the picture. There you can see there's about 12 and a half volts. And then we'll go down to here and there's nothing. But when you hit that switch, you have 12 and a half volts. So that's where we will be getting power to run to our backup lights. Okay, here's the wire we'll be using to run from that switch back to the lights and here's the connector we'll use and this is the screw that we remove from that switch that fits that connector and we'll crimp that onto the wire and run that wire back to the backup lights and be ready to go. Okay, here's that wire that I've got connected to the switch this is your buzzer again, but the wire I've got tucked up and around. It's between the body and the gas tank, runs up, goes across the frame, out the back. I got a little bit showing here, but I think it'll be okay. But I've connected it to these lights, so we're ready to flip the switch and see what happens. Okay, it is pitch black, as you can see. I, I'm standing near the golf Oh, there it is. There's the golf cart. Okay. All right. Let's see what the backup lights look like. Oh, yes. Overlook my junk, people. That is nice right there. You'll be able to see. Got plenty of light throwing out the back. That's all right. Oh, yes. Sorry for that obnoxious buzzing. And now you can see the headlights on this thing really put out. Really. Oh yes, that's blinding. So, now, from the back to the front, we are lit. <laughs> Well guys, just another short little simple video. Weren't a whole lot to it, but I just wanted to let y'all know that, you know, wiring these lights up correctly makes a difference. Go back and watch some of the earlier videos on this golf cart and you'll see the problem I have whenever I first got it, trying to get the headlights to work. People do things different ways. It works, I've got it working now the way it was, but Instead of using twice as much wire, we just ground these lights to a good ground back here, which luckily with these bolts, it's all a good ground. And then we run one power wire. One wire is run back here. Run that one wire up to that switch that turns your buzzer on whenever you go to reverse. And that's where it's picking up its power. So if that buzzer's on, these lights are on. So that works out pretty good, cool. And I like it because it's just like in your car. You put it in reverse, you have your backup lights on. There you go. But anyway, that will come in real handy for backing up, hooking up trailer if you're having to do something late at night like it is now. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned and we'll be into something next.